Hi, I'm Michelle Fisher, the Vice President of Strategy and Marketing for NCR Travel, and I'm here today with Jared Miller, who is our Vice President of Solution Management, to ask him a couple of questions about trends and, and his perception of what's going on in the industry. So, Jared, thanks for being here. Great, thank you. Um, so, maybe to start with, you know, from your perspective, what are the top three trends that airports are implementing to improve passenger experience? It's a good question. Uh, you know, I think there's there's uh, a few of them out there. One of them is common use self service, and, and I wouldn't call that a new trend, but it's continuing to uh, to be important, and we're continuing to see proliferation of common use self service, also known as CUS, uh, in the industry. And, and airports are, are continuing to see the value. Uh, airports and airlines continuing to see the value in providing a common experience to customers uh, that enables the passengers to transit the airport more quickly, allows the, air, uh, the airport authority, uh, the operating entity, to be able to flex their capacity as they need to and, and uh, shuffle carriers around based on um, schedule adjustments and certainly these days all the merger and consolidation activity that's going on. So common use self-service I think is, is important and continue to be, to be relevant. So another major trend is, is wayfinding, the, providing wayfinding solutions out to airports. So, you know, airports are certainly aware that, that passengers have more and more time to spend as they're transiting, whether it's a connecting flight and they're looking for something to do, uh, looking for where that connecting gate is, um, or, you know, just looking for that, that item that they, they left in the office or at home and they need to pick up on their way. So wayfinding is a great tool that um, in the past was a static billboard. And, you know, whether it's concessions changing or just the overall relevancy of the information being provided, um, you know, with, with modern technology, you can make that a lot more immersive and interactive for the end uh, for the end user being the traveler. So now travelers are able to go up and they're able to you know, see where they are, how long is it going to take me to my connecting gate, and along the way, know what, uh, know what concessions or activities they can partake in to make their experience better. And, and of course, the hope and, and promise for everyone here is that it's going to add to the bottom line of the airport and in many cases the airline as well. So an important trend that, that we're certainly a part of and, and we expect to see growing uh, is more and more airports and uh, airlines as well um, get exposure to this capability. Uh, and then I'd say a third, a third trend that's, that's very important and close to NCR is, is the growth within airports of, of a focus on non-aviation uh, related revenue. So, Back to that wayfinding example and, and that time that passengers may have, what can they do with that? Not only to, to delight and make it a better experience, but again, how can you unlock uh, some of that some of that shared wallet, some of that spending potential that, that those travelers do have and make sure that you're capturing as much as you can. And as airports have been going down this journey of, of growing non-aviation related revenue, um, a couple things have come out. One is wanting to make sure that, that what they're providing in their, in their airport is relevant to where they are. So what's local? What, what makes sense to what the traveler would expect? Especially if I'm transiting through an airport, uh, you know, I want, I want to feel like I'm in that destination, even if it is only for two hours. And I think the other one is from an airport operator truly kind of sitting in their seat. They need to have increased visibility into what's going on with, uh, with those concessions and with that spend so that they can make more informed decisions, whether it's reallocation of, of where those concessionaires sit or in many cases making sure that, uh, that they've got the uh, appropriate accounting systems in place to make the money flow to the right places. Right, so. right. And, and certainly something that we've heard from the customers and, and um, seen out at the conferences and conventions that we've been at this year. So, so maybe, you know, as we're heading into the peak holiday season here, how do you see those trends are impacting holiday travel this year? Sure. So, you know, my, my first tip is, and I'll go through each one of those three trends that, that we spoke to, is, you know, with respect to common use self-service, the kiosks have been out there for nearly 20 years now. Um, but a lot, of, a lot of passengers still may be somewhat, um, somewhat fearful of using them. So number one tip to the passengers, to the traveling public, is when you get on, on site at an airport, look for that kiosk. Uh, don't be afraid to walk up. It, it, you know, most of the time it's gonna be able to give you all the options that you would otherwise go see a, an agent behind the counter to handle. It'll, it'll handle seat changes, 
checking bags most of the time, flight changes, etc. So look for those kiosks. Don't be afraid to use them. They're, they're, they're going to speed up your time in the airport and get you, get you to that uh, airside, gateside experience much more quickly. Um, the second thing is wayfinding. So, so once again, as that passenger has used the kiosk and they've transited security, uh, hopefully very quickly and efficiently, now they're, they're around the gates and they're, they, they realize that they did a good job, they got to the airport plenty early, they got a few hours to, uh, to spend in the airport, go, go look for that wayfinding solution to see what is around you and explore. And, and you know, the concessions have improved so greatly in, in the past years in airports and, you know, they're virtual shopping malls at this point. So take advantage, pick up that last, last minute gift. You know, maybe there's uh, someone that you forgot to buy a present for and, and you can uh, find it there in the airport. Well, Jared, thanks a lot for taking the time to uh, to meet with us today. Give us your views on uh, what are some exciting trends in the industry. Great, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot.